Hi there, uh, you're all with Craig on behalf of Ken the Odor Dude, that's Ken there, and in this video we're going to teach you step by step how to remove cigarette smoke uh, odors from cars, vehicles, seats and so on. Now it, it is an easy process and it's you've got to uh, pay attention and watch very very carefully, okay? This is exactly how we do it every single day. Step number one, you need to determine the level of the contamination. Now this shot you can't see too well, but in the original you could. You can actually see yellowing in the ceiling. So where my cursor is just there, quite yellow, and through this area here it's quite, is, is yellowing. Okay, now the other, if you can't do that, just use your nose. So um, sniff the seats, sniff the ceiling, sniff the floor. Just get a feel for how strong it is. Right, step number two is you need to spray the ceiling, seats, armrests, sun visors with Formula 2, and we'll tell you all about that shortly, and make sure the chemical gets in deep. Now be very careful with what sort of car you do on the ceiling. Um, some cars are very, very strong ceiling, Nissans, Toyotas, they seem to be very strong. Some cars, such as Jeeps, uh, older BMWs, their ceilings have just got... Uh, fabric and like, a very thin sponge underneath and they're easy to damage so be very very careful maybe spot test first before you even try this thing okay because you can damage the ceiling most cars you won't damage it we um, and you can sort of tell if you put your hand to the ceiling and touch it and it's floppy then don't do this technique if you put your hand up and it's solid it's robust then use this technique you'll be fine Okay, so you've sprayed the ceiling. Now the next thing, um, the formulation is available over at odordude.com forward slash more dash information. Okay, you can jump over there now and get access to it. Now continuing on, step number three is you need to inject the ceiling with very, very hot water and extract it at the same time. And this unit we've got here, it injects hot water. We use nearly boiling water and put boiling water into the machine and uh, it also sucks it out at the same time so you're injecting and sucking and the reason that you do that is very simple that is the waste that you get out of a ceiling or out of a seat or out of the floor not so much the floor the floor will be much worse than that because you're getting dirt as well but that photograph shows the residues the toxic residues that were in the ceiling of a car that had smoke contamination and that's why a lot of people who have car, they buy a car it's got smoke damage in it they get feel really sick that is why Okay, now the next step is that you need to dry the car out, dry it thoroughly once you've finished, and then reassess it. Now, if you uh, reassess it and the smell still persists, then you can finish the vehicle with an ozone unit, and there's a link behind uh, below this video. It shows you where to um, buy those, and they're very cheap. But ozone is very, very effective on um, smoke, but you need to do a good clean first if it's a serious contamination. If you've got a mild contamination, then ozone may well do the job to knock it out for you. Okay, so on behalf of Ken, the odor dude, just thanking you for uh, watching this video. If we can help at all, go through to his site. You can join for free in the members area and get free help. Okay, so we hope we look forward to seeing you real soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.